Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. It's 4.06 in the morning, people. It's 4.06 in the morning. So this stuff will not be up until I get up and go to work tomorrow. So it probably won't be up until like 11 or 12 o'clock tomorrow. Or I might wake up out of my sleep. Who knows? Anywho, this is my review for Black Ink Crew. Season 6, episode 21. This is the season finale. I'm happy the season is over. I really, really am. It's a nice lipstick. <laughs> um, this particular color is called Baja 5. It is a Kat Von D. I do love it. It's really, really great. But this is like my sixth video tonight. Hits it being 4 o'clock in the morning and me being extra, extra tired. But you know what I'm saying? I got to give it to y'all. It is what it is. So, I felt like this season finale wasn't really good, so to speak. Um, I felt like it was a lot of filler stuff. Like, there was no real ending, in my personal opinion. Um, we see the tail end of the fight with Mo and Alex and, and Donna, whatever. And him still, still being pissed, telling Donna, basically her pussy belong to everybody. So, you know, we see that Alex's lip is actually busted. Or we see that Mo's first swing connected. So when he did that first swing, he actually did hit Alex. But my thing is that was kind of a sucker punch because you came in and swung on somebody who did not know that he was coming in and swing on them. So, you know, it was kind of crazy. Uh, Donna, of course, is like, you know, he just crazy, you know, for him to come to Miami. Um, he wouldn't even talk to me in New York. It's kind of crazy. I can't believe he would do that. I mean, we all are aware this whole situation is absolutely positively Donna's fault. Um, because she did fuck that man in that bathroom on video. So, again, Mo had a reason to be pissed. My thing is, I feel like he went too far because the fool came to Miami. Like, why wouldn't you just go to New York? I felt like someone said to him, we filming a finale in, in Miami. So, if you if you want to talk to her, if you want to make up with her, you got to come to Miami. I feel like the producers said that to him. Or when, someone said to him, you got, if you want to handle this before the season ends, you got to come to Miami. Then come back to New York. I think he may have thought like, oh, when they come back to New York, if I got something to say. Um, I can do it when they come back. And someone said, they ain't coming back. The next season will be a whole different thing. So, you know, but it was funny because Donna said, you know, not Donna, Sky said, Donna was got some good pussy. Because, you know, again, he flew to Miami to fight Alex and tell her off. Like, that is just crazy or whatever. But it is what it is. You know, they all kind of partied up. And she's like, all right, I'm single now. So, I don't care. Fuck Mo. I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, we then see how they all go to a club. You know what I'm saying? Um, Alice is kind of not in the mood to party. He just doesn't feel good. Um, he kind of chilling. We do see that some chick sees, you know, popped up in Miami. Well, not popped up in Miami. But a girl he knew who lived in Miami came out to party with them. And she's a cute little girl. You know what I'm saying? She's supposedly a teacher. And she has a child or whatever. So she's like a real adult. You know, and they're not used to real adults. So that's a, you know, a cute little thing. You know, Sky kind of grilled her and asked some questions. Sky liked her. You know, Kit said at least she looked like she got some sense. She looked like she tamed and she ain't going to be acting all wild. Um, so, yeah, we found she's a teacher. And she, she she actually left the club because she's like, I have to go to work in the morning. And I'm like, she's responsible. Okay, see? You know? Um, we then see Walt and Bay get to Miami. But we see um, Melody does it. Melody was only in the beginning of the season, honestly. We see, you know, as we see, oh shit, it's back in Atlanta. I hope they do a Black Ink Crew-ish Atlanta spinoff or whatever, and he's on that one. I do feel like him, Nikki, I, that can be something along with other people, um, but I don't want him coming back to New York with all the foolishness. Um, no, thank you. So... Walt, like, this is his first time in Miami. He's trying to party, have fun. You know, he want to go to the bar and party. 
the beach and part, you know, Sky let them know that her son's come to visit. So, you know, everybody's in a good, good mood. It is what it is. You know, on the beach, you know, <laughs> Donna like, you know what I'm saying? Single Donna's back. I'm like, Donna, you've been single for like 10 minutes, girl. You need to just stop. So, it was kind of crazy um, to see her like, I'm single. I want to kind of, we should have a threesome like me, Jada, and and Kit. I'm like, girl... And they just, Jada said, you can't fuck everybody in the, in the shop, Donna. You, maybe she said Tatiana. Either way it goes, she wanted to hit somebody she ain't hit yet. Donna is, look, Donna really is for the community. Donna's a girl. Calm down, pussycat. Um, so then we see Alex just kind of pass out on the beach. They was all on the beach. Some was playing volleyball. Some was on the beach. And he just kind of passed out. And they're like, what the fuck going on? And then at first, they're like, are you okay? What's going on? And they realize something wrong. Like, he can't breathe. He can't catch his breath. Donna rushed to a side, you know, sees him. Someone call 911. Someone get some water. He can't breathe. And I laughed because Donna looked, not laugh. We all did laugh. Donna looked oh so concerned. Like, oh my, she was, she like, she looked like in panic. But I laughed to myself because I said, Donna on the goddamn on beach in some space. I'm like, who go to the beach? In space, cause you're not gonna swim, girl. And it, cause Donna got some thick thighs. Donna thick. Okay, she's very, very thick. And I think maybe she wants to be thinner. But I think Donna's shape was fine. You know what I'm saying? I think Donna has a nice shape or whatever. I ain't gay, but I, you know, I, I can, I can talk about women. I don't care. But yeah, I'm looking like, girl, don't be on the beach uncomfortable. Them goddamn them, them spanks. <laughs> Let them thick thighs show, girl. Anywho, um, we see 911 is called. They come and take him away, and whatever, because he was kind of unresponsive. He was kind of, well, it was a whole situation. So, um, we do see Scott's son show up. Now, they say how it's been four months since she first, first met him. Um, so it's like, you know, f- four months later. Um, and she said how they've been, you know, they talk all the time on the phone or whatever, and they, she's seen him a couple times since then. And how, you know, I'm his mother. So, I feel like I should be able to talk to him. Sky with her son is the Sky I remember from season two, three, and like four. That's the real Sky. Still a little bit crazy. But not this extra actress Sky that we see on the other episodes when she just being fake and fugazi. I can deal with the Sky... From seasons two, three, and four, and how she's a little bit batshit crazy, but she's not all the way batshit crazy. She ain't got her titties out, you know. I don't like all that extra stuff. I like seeing Sky with her sons. It's a cool thing to see. She just asked him if he having sex. He say no. He likes some girl who's out of high school or whatever. It was what it was. They brought some just some uh, jet skis together, and she looked happy. He looked happy, and again. This is the sky I can deal with. This this guy is entertaining and not annoying. I love it. It was a great moment. And it's good to see her happy to be able to bond with her son. Um, we do see Alice come home after Donna was calling all over the world looking for Donna. Look at him. She called all the hospitals, all the donut shops, all the weed spots, all the shoe stores. She called everywhere looking for him, but he wasn't to be found. So he's been released from the hospital. Oh my God, Alex, I was so worried. What happened? Come sit down. So he kind of lays down or whatever. He says he basically had a mini heart attack. He brings up how he was born, born with heart murmurs. He has two holes in his heart. Um, he says the left side of his heart is bigger than the right side. And how he was supposed to get surgery. But he never did. He said, I was supposed to get it before I turned 18. I never did. You know, I just I just didn't do it. He says that the doctor just told me, you know, I can't keep um, avoiding it. I need to have the surgery to fix it. And I just kind of been avoiding the surgery. Boy, you want to die? No. Go ahead, a surgery. Anywho, she just, you know, he said, we're like, right now, the doctor said, I just need to rest. Um, just kind of get my energy back up or whatever. I'm like, you think? So, <laughs> from that point, she's like, okay, you can lay in my bed. I'm like, Donna, girl, you just got single. He like, where, where you gonna lay? She's like, I'm gonna lay on this side, you lay on that side. You know, just, we don't, we won't touch each other. But it's still a cute, I like Donna and Alex as a couple. It's the cutest, weirdest trashiest couple like it's the dirty couple at the tattoo shop who we feel like they don't take baths because they like the stink of each other um but they have really good stinky sex that's what alex 
and that'll look like. But it's for some reason, I like the cutesy, wootsy, flirty, flirty. I want you to be my boyfriend. I want you to be my girlfriend. But we both kind of still slut, so we don't know. So it's a cute, weird couple thing. Um, we do see seeds on the date with old girl. I can't remember what her name is right now. I think it's Crystal, which is weird because I think that's and that's my mama name, Crystal. Anywho, he rents a yacht, you know, not a big yacht, a little yacht, you know what I'm saying? It's like a large speedboat, you know what I'm saying? Um, but not, it's, it's, a, it's very much so a mini yacht, but like a large speed, but a large speedboat. Um, he brings up how she like kind of makes him giddy or whatever. I'm like, that will pass. That's because you want to have sex with her. Um, he brings up, you know, I never thought I would date a teacher, you know, it's just so different. Um, but she, but he's then like, well, what made you, you know, say yes to me? Because you see some black ink crew. Anywho, but she say, um, you know, because you're you you know you're at charm, you had a good smile. I would have been like, because you see some black ink crew, and I think you're cute. I mean, it's, it's it's honestly that simple. Um, because I'm pretty sure there are other people in Miami who can, who can try and talk to her, and she'd be like, no. But he sees from black ink crew, and she thinks he's cute. So it was what it was. Um, but she tells him like, I'm not like other girls, and she's like, he's like, what you mean? She said, you know. I have, you know, my own shit going on. I'm a mom, and I want to be played. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just different. And I said, well, at least she was honest with him and said, look, I ain't one of these little thought girls who want to be on your show. I ain't no thought girl looking for a come up. I have my own life that I'm living here in Miami. I don't really need you, so you can't play me. I said, okay. And C said he respects that. He kind of liked that about her. Um, but dating somebody in a different state is just different. You know what I'm saying? I have a friend who lives one state over, and it's very different dating somebody. We're not, he not, well, I don't say it too much. It's a guy who likes me. <laughs> I'm still single. But because he lives in a different state and we communicate or whatever, it's weird dating because he does not live here. So that's why you have to date multiple people to see who really is the person you're supposed to be with. And then, then you start an actual relationship. Anywho, I should not have said that, but it is what it is. Um, so at this point, Sky has invited over some Haitians who were going to do like a little Haitian ceremony. This was really weird, short, sweet, and to the point. You know, we find out a dad's name means warrior. Um, they do like a little ritual where she says some words, spit some juice around or whatever. Um, Babe was looking like, what the fuck is, I got some spit on me. You know, Kit saying how, you know, she don't care as long as she don't wake up bald and what as hell. Um, because it's different. It was a very much so a different situation. You don't know what they saying because it's, it's, they're saying different things. And they pouring stuff and making circles. And she's spilling wine a certain way. And she was putting stuff on Sky's feet. I was, I, I would have left and said, you know what, I'm going to go to CVS. Let me know y'all don't that because I'm going to be, I, I don't mess with stuff like that. I just don't, I no, no, thank you, no, thank you. Anywho, um, but they did like a whole little Haitian, a Haitian traditional dance or whatever. It was cool for Sky getting in touch with her Haitian roots. It was cool or whatever. Um, Sky and Dez had a conversation. It was really, really cool. You know, Dez come to talk to his mama to say how she doing or whatever, and you know he said how he's having such a great time and how she showed him some amazing things, and you know Sky then says how she with Genesis was there. And he was more open to, you know, being around them or whatever. She said, because for her, it's still hard to deal with the fact that Genesis is in this, is in this moment of hating her. Um, again, these moments is the real sky that I can appreciate. So, you know, at this point, she's crying a little bit. Just saying how, you know, it's just hard for her to be bonded with one son and when the other son, you know, don't fuck with her, can't stand her, hate her. Uh, she was saying how she's so happy and proud of Daz because how she was, I mean, in my opinion, she was kind of throwing shots at Genesis, but at the same time, it was honestly, she was saying how, you know, no, you're not a follower, you know, no one can make you do A, B, C, and D, you know, you're such a strong person. Just telling him how she was proud of him and how he's like, this a wonderful kid. And even him seeing him saying, you know, he said to her, you know, you came from nothing. And you made yourself into something. So for me, you know what I'm saying? You turned your whole life around. So I'm proud of you as my mom. It was a very touching moment. I felt it was very much so authentic. I'm happy that they caught it on camera. I honestly hope Genesis sees it. And his heart softens a bit. 
and he can kind of see maybe I can a little bit deal with her through my brother because I do also wonder does Genesis not have a um, relationship with his brother either anymore like I wanted that dynamic too so you know again this is the good sky this is the guy who we saw in the beginning who we fell in love with. I don't know who this crazy bitch is that we've seen, we've been seeing re recently, at least in season six. Um, if she can go back to that kind of calm, demure, but batshit crazy sky, just not overly fake and overly extra and overly aggressive and overly just stupid, I can kind of deal with her. Um, but we can clearly see that she does love her son. Um, and her son loves her. So at the end of the day, I think a mosquito bit me. Um, that's what matters. So, then they have, like, a Scarface party. Because, like, it's the last night in Miami or whatever. Let's have a big party. First of all, Bay and Tati did not even know or haven't seen the movie Scarface. I said, how have you? I can't wait to show my nephew DJ Scarface. I can't wait to show him that movie. But I'm like, dang, see, Scarface, girl, is a classic. So... You know, Sky's son goes home or whatever. You know, he had a time that he had fun. He, Of course, he met everybody. It was a great thing. It was a great time. He ain't been gone but 45 seconds, maybe a minute and a half. And Sky's titties already out. I'm looking like, girl, what is you wearing? Your titties is flopping out like it's crazy. But I guess it's an extra Tony Montana type of party. A Sky, a, um, sky face. A Sky face type of party. So, everyone's having fun. Um... We then see Scott and the sky. We see Donna pull Alex out to have a quick little conversation. And she just lets him know, like, look, you know, I thought about what you said. And, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I do, you know, I'm feeling you too. And I just want you to know that. And then he was like, really? I mean, I don't think Donna or, or Alex are good actors. And I did feel like it was authentic. I did. I, I liked it. Um, their kisses was, they started kissing. It's a kissing you do when you like somebody, you find out they like you too, and y'all start doing them little kisses. Like, it's, it was that little cutesy wootsy stuff. I'm like, see, this is what we need for Black Ink Crew. It don't have to always be this crazy, bad, you know, these all these things. Just show their lives and what's going on, and it can still be entertaining. So, but she do say, because when he said, you know, I'm happy to hear that, so they're both happy that they feel each other. Down to the end, say, you know, we're going to play it by ear, you know what I'm saying? Um, we young, we want to have fun, so we'll see where it goes. That's what fucked you up the first time with Mo. You can't, know. You can't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying, Donna, Donna, girl, you can't fuck nobody else. You can't. Like, don't cheat on Alex. Like, either break, you have, you have to break up with him and then go have sex with someone else but you can't play this whole we just having fun thing so if i want to go fuck him him or her or her it's cool you just you did that with mo he called you community coochie he told you coochie is whack you got a uh, porta potty pussy he was fucking somebody in the goddamn bathroom you he's already disrespected you and talking about everything on your body do not get with alex just to be free and and have fun and be fucking people just don't do it just, just please don't do it at this point, we then see out the blue, Tatiana and Jada is fighting. And I'm like, what? Everyone's saying, why are they fighting? Like, it, it happened out the blue to where no one even knew what the fuck was going on. Honey, Jada was pissed because, as she said, Tati, Ted, you know, she says, her and Ted have been fucking around in secret since they went to that little ski resort. And that was like, it was eight weeks ago. So they've been secretly hooking up ever since. And she said, but since it's a secret, we don't talk about it. She said, but recently, Ted had been all over Tatiana. And I feel like he being rude in my face and I ain't like it. But I'm like, then why are you fighting Tati and not Ted? And if Tati don't know that you fucking Ted, you can't get mad at Tati. You can get mad at Ted. So Ted come out and he like, why you just beat the hell out of Tati? Why you beat her up like that? Cause you not gonna play me, Ted. You ain't gonna play me to my face, Ted. I'm looking like, oh shit, this is crazy. You been leaving me on. You know I'm not gonna. You gonna. You not gonna keep playing me in my face. He like, what you talking about? We messing around or whatever. Ted then say she wanted to keep us messing around a secret. I didn't know that she wanted, or done, I didn't know that she thought we were exclusive. Ted literally just walked away. 
Jada sitting outside, upset, and Ted literally just said, you know what? I fucked this shit. And he walked away. Ted is a whore, okay? Ted has always been a whore ever since the beginning of it. So I don't get why any chick is surprised when he fuck with one and then fuck with the other. That's what Ted has always done. Okay, Teddy Bear Teddy. It's the equivalent of getting upset that a prostitute has other jobs. She's a hooker. She's supposed to fuck other people. Ted's a hoe. He's gonna fuck other people. And that's it. That is what it is. Um, it kind of ends with C's getting a phone call. Well, no. We see C's and Doc, C's and Sky talking to Alex. Asking about him and Donna. He like, you know, I don't want to drink it, but you know what I'm saying? We, we doing what we're doing. Then he gets a call from his lawyer. They made it seem as if, oh my God, he did the whole tattoo shop and the close down. But he admit that the lawyer told him that the case is over. They won. The girl ain't suing no more. So, that's the end of the season. And they all start dancing. And that was it. Um, I have to admit, this season was crazy. You know, Sky and her kids. Uh, Sky meeting her sons. Fighting with uh, Genesis. You know, we had um, Walt and his breakdown. Having to, he lost his house or whatever. He had to send his kids away. He was getting drunk. It was He was down with spiral. You know, Bay and her mom being missed and having to go to Korea, you know, hearing the story about her father beat her and all that other stuff was crazy. And now she's pregnant and engaged. Um, you know, Ted with his brother being in prison. Melody, who was accused of stealing money and was living in the damn trailer because she had tax that, uh, tax that, and how she met her father side of the family. Uh, we had Alex and Kevin both trying to reconnect and get better um, relationships with their own fathers. Um, Donna. She was homeless. Remember the whole uh, help me hire or whatever? And she moved all this is back and forth. Her being homeless, her losing the baby, cheating on Mo, then her dealing her dealing with Alex. You know that was kind of crazy. Um, it was just a crazy. It was a crazy season. I'm excited for Black Ink Crew Chicago. I'm a Black Ink Crew Chicago fan. I really am. I think I prefer Chicago over New York. I want to get to Chicago and get a tattoo. But Ryan posted on Instagram how Nine Mag, the old shop, is closed indefinitely. And it's going to be something new. So we shall see what that happens. It's a new season. We'll all see what's going to be with that. It's 428 in the morning, people. I'm going to bed. And, and I just burped. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Peace.